you were posting these daily improvisations. Yeah. And I wonder if you could just talk about like what inspired that and what you, what your takeaway was. From yeah. It. Well, I'll be honest, those, those things make me a little bit nervous usually. And I, I've, I've never sort of engaged, you know, with that or like just, just posting guitar things on, on social media. And yeah. I don't know why I've always been like hesitant about it. And then this artist that I've loved for like six years now, her name is Juana Molina. Do you know uh -huh. who she is? I know her name. I haven't really heard her music. I think you would love it. It's some like it's some of the most amazing guitar work that I've heard, but it's it's not I it's almost not identifiable as a guitar. Like it just huh. she has all these crazy pedals and she's just a musical genius. But um she started doing this improv challenge and she she called me out on Instagram and asked me to do it. And so I was like, "Oh man, it's it's Juana. I can't I can't refuse. I have to do it. So um, I just kind of was like, well, here it goes. I don't know. Here goes nothing maybe. But um, honestly, by day like two and three, I, I was so excited. Like it, it, it was, it's basically, to me, it felt like songwriting where you walk in a room and there's nothing, you know, mm -hmm. there's, you're like, I don't know what I have, but let's see what I can create. And um, I, it, it, deadlines are, can be your friend, you know, where you're like, I know I have to put a thing out, a little improv one minute thing for 10 days. So mm -hmm. I have to show up every day and like s hope that something happens. And then if it doesn't, I just have to move on. And you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that was really um, special. And I, I just use this looper pedal to kind of build ideas, um, which was really fun and kind of also helped me write some songs too to like even just build one little you know cyclical idea and then watch it kind of build and um huh. yeah it was, it was super fun had you used a looper much before that a little bit here and there but not not a ton not like that not not the way that like Andrew Bird uses it you know where every show is like he's got a looper pedal and he he relies on it but um so he's a master at that, but I, yeah, I had just maybe tried it a couple times and, uh, but it, it's just, it, uh, it, it was really fun. It was like watching kind of like, um, this is kind of corny, but like a flower unfold where you're like, oh, you're watching the idea kind of happen before your eyes. And like, you, you just kind of have to go with it. So it was for, oh. yeah, I really enjoyed it. 